In this video, we received a call from a large supermarket. Mikey and I immediately began to go out to order to deliver a batch of Fanta and Cola as quickly as possible. But on the way, we encounter various obstacles that prevent us from getting to the store. What difficulties await us ahead? Watch this video. Do you want to order Fanta and Coke from us? Okay, I have accepted your order. You can be sure that I will deliver to you in full what you ordered from me. I'm just having a great day today. Mikey and I are going to make a lot of money. Now we need to go and tell him the good news that we have ordered two whole trailers filled with cola and Fanta. Some new store is opening, so they need a lot of soda. I'll go out now and knock on Mikey's door. Are you here? I have a good idea. Guess what it is. I don't even know what's going on. Tell me what happened. We were attacked by a pack of wolves. What? Mikey, good joke, but we have a good event. This morning they called me and ordered a batch of cola and Fanta. Now we can finally go and work so we can earn a lot of money and we will buy ourselves whatever we want with this money. Mikey, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready to earn all the money in the world. Let's get into our trucks quickly and go quickly to deliver our soda. I can't wait until we get the money. We haven't had orders for a very long time and this is the first time in a long time. That's why I'm glad to work today. Let's quickly get ready and go. Look, in this wilderness there is a village. Really unexpected? I couldn't even imagine that there would be anything here. Hmm, indeed. It looks quite wonderful. Let's drive closer there and try to drive there. Perhaps it will be convenient to drive there along the road. It's so hot in the desert that I already want to drink water and rest. In this heat, you need to relax and sunbathe by the pool and not work. Let's try to drive carefully here so as not to hit the villagers. It's very strange. Why did they surround us? And they won't let us pass? Mikey, what should we do now? Should we just stand here until they let us out? <laughs> what did they even forget here? And what do they want from us? Maybe they went on strike here? We need to do something about this. We need to somehow get through this village without being stopped from doing so. Let's go out and see what's going on here. We may have to talk to the villagers to get them to let us through. To be honest, I don't even know what we need to do so that we can leave here. It seems they have become in front and behind. If we start moving somewhere, we will simply crush them. We need to go out and talk to them about what they want from us. This is very strange. They usually don't behave this way. Hmm. I think I understand what's going on, Mikey. I believe they want us to give them a taste of Coke and Fanta. I think after this, they will leave us behind and let us through. Let's give everyone one bottle of soda to try. Then I can drive through calmly and I won't bother us anymore. Hello, villager. Would you like to try my Coca-Cola? Now wait a little. Take it and try it. This is the most delicious taste of soda that exists. I think now you will be very happy when you try this taste. I just gave the villager a taste of Fanta and I don't see any joy on his face. JJ, how are you doing? It seems that your villager, whom you gave the soda to try, is very happy and jumps with happiness. Huh? Mine seems frozen by the taste and doesn't move. I suspect he didn't like the Fanta. Just look how he twitches and runs away from here. Well, maybe he just didn't like it, but someone what? else will like it. Let's check it now. Look, they gave me some diamond armor here. Hold on to some more Coca-Cola. I hope you enjoy it. Mikey, I can't even understand why they decided to give me a helmet and boots made of diamonds. It seems your villager is not happy with your Fanta, but I jump with happiness when they try Coca-Cola. Oh, I don't know what's happening, but all the villagers run away from me when they try Fanta. What should I do? Wow, what is this? Do you want to give me diamond armor too? Huh? Of course you have generous villagers here in the village. I even like working this way. How are you doing, Mikey? And I don't know what to do anymore. Everyone gives you cool what? gifts, but they didn't give me anything at all. They didn't even give me food. <laughs> don't be upset. Just look what they gave me again. My customers are very happy and gave me a lot of gifts. They even gave me diamond tools. It seems to me that I'm starting to enjoy traveling through such villages. Perhaps if we go to other villages, they can also give us gifts? Okay, they finally freed us and we can move on. JJ, the villagers have returned to me. It seems they don't want anything from me, 
It seems to me that they are angry, that they didn't like something, and now they don't want to let me through. Maybe you want some more Fanta? <laughs> no? Well, let me give you emeralds then. Just don't touch me, please. Fine? This is all I have. Just please let me move on and don't hit me anymore. These are all my emeralds that I have. Will you let me go now? <laughs> is it true? Thank you very much. This is all I have. I don't have any more treasures. Are you so angry because you didn't like Fanta? I'm sorry to hear this, but please let me go further. I need to deliver the order. <laughs> JJ, come out here. Can you even hear me? Can you imagine what happened here? I'm in complete shock here. All my emeralds were taken from me and now I have nothing left at all. <laughs> Mikey. After what they did to you, we had to definitely go around this village. Yep. It's wrong what they did to you. Look, there seems to be some kind of lake here. Let's come closer and see what's inside. Huh? Perhaps there is some kind of fish there? Maybe we can catch something there? I haven't been fishing for so long. Now I would like to enjoy some delicious fish. Ouch. Wow, what is that thing floating there? Is it really all fish? Mikey, be careful in case she bites. Wow, it looks like these are not fish but real sharks. Mikey, it's better not to be here because they could bite you very hard or even drag you away and eat you. This is quite a dangerous place. <laughs> JJ, let's see what happens if you pour your Coca-Cola and my Fanta into the lake. Maybe something interesting will happen? I think this is a great experiment. We can check it. Take a ladder in your luggage. We will now build it up to the roof of the trailer and we can go up there and open our barrels so that a little of our soda spilled out. Now there will be a competition whose soda will the sharks like more? Maybe this will make them kinder and not bite? Hmm, look, great idea. Let's do that and check. Surely my Coca-Cola will be much tastier to sharks than your Fanta. Let's get up quickly. I'm already wondering who will win. Mikey, let's go to the back of the trailer and I'll be the first to do the experiment. Now, it will be clear how much these sharks will like my soda. I think they will be just as surprised as the villagers, but they won't be able to give me gifts. Hmm, after your Coca-Cola, these sharks will become even angrier, and instead of gifts, they will simply bite you and drag you away somewhere. In general, I like my Fanta better in taste. I think they will be absolutely delighted with my soda. What? These are not villagers who don't understand the taste of soda. These are sharks. For them, it will be like a delicacy. Well, will we start our experiment soon? Let's press the button and let's start our experimental show. I can't wait for the sharks to try your Coca-Cola. <laughs> That's it. I've now opened my lever. Now all I have to do is wait for the soda to flow right into the lake. We'll find out any minute now whether sharks like Coca-Cola. I think after this, we can even pet them and they won't even attack us. Look, Coca-Cola is already flowing and will fill part of the lake. We just need to wait until they swim a little closer and then we can see how they will drink it. I think they will like this taste. Huh. Just look now, the lake will fill up and I'm sure that after they try cola, they will immediately swim away to the other end and won't want to appear here anymore. Look, they'll try and swim away. Huh? I think you're just jealous of me, Mikey. Just look, they are already swimming closer and drinking my Coca-Cola. Look how big they are getting. This is probably how the sugar and soda affects them. Not surprisingly, now they have become even larger than they were, but I don't really want to test them for friendliness. <laughs> Now it's my turn to check how these sharks like my Fanta. They will become so kind. Just a little while longer, and they won't come up and try my miracle Fanta. Watch carefully so that you don't miss a single moment. Hmm. Sharks seem to take damage when they drink your Fanta. Mikey, your Fanta is toxic to them. <laughs> it seems to me that it is very dangerous to continue the experiment, but it is too late. I hope the sharks don't die from this. Oh no. Look, one shark is already dead. Now the second shark. Now the third one will die. What should we do now? Oh. Mikey, now you see that your Fanta cannot even be given to the villagers. It's good that at least they survived. <gasps> I don't know how you drink this Fanta, but I wouldn't recommend drinking it. You can see the result of the experiment for yourself. <laughs> there are almost no sharks left because they simply all died here. This can't be true. I feel really bad for the sharks. 
I did not expect that the construction of the bridge could take so long. But we made it through, and there are no longer these sharks here that could eat part of the bridge, so it's even very good that they tried my Fanta. Huh? What? Ho <laughs> ho! Soon it will be evening. We will probably have to stop somewhere and spend the night. We've been building the bridge for so long that a lot of time has passed and it's time to hurry. Probably only tomorrow and we will be able to place our order. Yes, we won't make it today, but that's okay. Let's find some good village and stay there. Yep! Hmm, looks like we've arrived at the place. Okay, we need to lay out our sleeping bags here by the fire and get ready for bed. I'll probably put it somewhere here, closer to the fire. I don't want to freeze at night while I'm sleeping. Also, put it closer to me. So maybe we can also warm up against each other. The main thing is that mosquitoes don't bite us at night. Otherwise, in the morning, we will be as red as tomatoes or as red as my truck. <laughs> Look how big the moon is today. I hope the wolves won't come to us today. <gasps> Otherwise, it will be dangerous to sleep on the street. Look, it looks like someone is coming towards us. It's strange. Usually all the villagers sleep at night, but this one is doing something here. Maybe he wants something from us? Or maybe we woke him up. Oh no! I think he's got Mentos in his hands. It might be too dangerous. Get out of here. Don't even dare come close to our tracks. You can't even imagine what it can do here. We could have a super huge explosion because of you. So go away and don't come back. Don't even think about coming back here. JJ, this is not true at all. Nothing will happen if you put Mentos in soda. Are you lying? Huh? Do you want to seem like the smartest? If you don't believe me, then stay here and I'll leave here. I'd better drive away from this village because if this villager comes back again, he'll probably want to throw Mentos at my truck and then there will be an incredible explosion and I won't have truck and cola anymore. Somewhere here, I'll lie down for a bit and put myself a sleeping bag. It seems no one should notice me here. I hope this villager understood my words and went to the village. I don't want him to look for me and try to harm me. He looked very strange, and I only have this bed left, so I'll put it here and get ready for bed. I'm so tired, I need to rest a little, but at the same time be on guard so that no one else comes near my truck. Let's see what happens to Mikey's truck. He doesn't want to listen to me, so I don't really care what happens to him. Something interesting will probably happen tomorrow, and I'm already falling asleep. Hmm. What? What is this noise? Oh no! What are you doing here? Get out of here before I hit you. Where are you going? Don't even dare come near my truck. What? Uh-oh. I don't need you to try your pathetic attempts with Mentos. Get out of here. If you don't leave now, I will do something bad to you. Here, take the Coke. Get out of here. Don't come back here again. Otherwise, I will do something bad to you. Hmm. This villager is strange. You need to stay away from him. Huh? What? <laughs> it seems he walked towards Mikey. Perhaps I'd better follow him and see what he does. It's better to keep an eye on him so that he doesn't blow up the truck with Fana because we need to get it intact. He seems to be doing something close to Mikey. Now he will understand that Mentos and soda are no joke. It seems that something is happening there. The effect of soda and Mentos has probably begun. Oh no! Looks like Mikey is flying into space. Hmm. Better yet, let it fly to the moon. Such aliens are needed there. Morning came. Time to see how Mikey was feeling. I'll go up to him and ask him if he liked it on the moon. They definitely didn't expect to be in Earth's orbit tonight. I hope he's okay. He looks like he's all beaten up. It must have landed very painfully. But it's his own fault. He didn't want to believe me, and that's why this happened. Mikey, how are you feeling? Huh? Now do you believe that soda and Mentos explode? Oh! JJ, it seems that today I was seen at the NASA base in a telescope. Now I will go down in history as the first flying turtle. But I wish I had believed you from the very beginning. Huh? Even I had never been in space, so Mikey was ahead of me in some ways. We have already arrived in the city. All we have to do is get to the supermarket and we can get our money. What? Oh no! <laughs> Look at the road. There are whole holes in the highway. We need to drive very carefully so as not to fall there. It seems this could be very dangerous. JJ, I'm not sure we should come here at all. Maybe there is some other way out? 
I think I'm a little stuck. I hope I can get out. What? It seems that just a little more and I will succeed. It turned out that it was good that only one wheel got stuck. <laughs> Let's be more careful now. You don't need to fall like that anymore. If you suddenly fall into this hole, it will be very bad. There is still a little time left, and we will be able to drive this strange road. Ah! Mikey, are you stuck again? Yep. Let me pull out the cable now and hook your truck onto it. We'll try to get you out. If we don't get you out, we'll have to leave you here. Oh. There's always some kind of trouble with you. Catch the rope. Just don't ask why it smells like that. I don't know myself. <laughs> it seems you are already well hooked and I will pull you out now. You're heavy. It seems you've gained a little weight. Did you eat a comet in space? Now the manager should come to us and give us our payment for the goods brought. Wow, are these diamond blocks? This is cool, thank you very much. Mikey, what did they give you? Steel blocks? Good too. Bye to everyone and see you soon. See you in the next episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe.